Hello and welcome back to Nekapon Gaming. I am Nekapon and today we are re-recording for YouTube. <laughs> I accidentally uh, lost the audio footage of this when I first recorded it on Twitch. So it got muted due to some like maybe DMCA issue, but I'm still happy to record this again for you guys. It's no problem at all. Um, I'm trying to build up my audience right now on Twitch, uh, as you know. So if you're interested in getting my content first and reaching out to me in real time, please do follow me there. The link will be below. I'd highly appreciate that. So today we're going to be talking about Uma Musume. It's literally 11 p.m. at night. I don't know why I'm filming this right now. But I want to do this, so I hope you guys will have fun with this video. Um, I hope everyone had a really good event in the last week as well, the one before this one. I did like do quite a bit of last minute grinding in one of those like, point collecting events, but I did manage to fully limit break the SSR for gold ships, so that uh, was where I basically stopped playing the event so I don't get burnt out. Even in PvP, those especially are... I feel like I have to prepare so much for it, don't you? How did you guys do for the event? So today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new missions. The new series of missions is called Master Trainer's Road, and you'll see it on the last tab of your missions page. So these ones are very special this time because they are not time limited, but completing all of it will get you some pretty juicy prizes, so let's get to it! The main rewards are going to be a 3 star gacha ticket, this is for a character, a 2 star and up, and 300 jewels. You get these from clearing multiple missions. We're just gonna go down the list from top to bottom. I think that there are 40 missions, so I'm just gonna explain each one a little bit and then also tell you a little bit about how to achieve them. Starting with the first one, and the first few is all gonna be themed the same way. These ones require you to get a particular skill in training. So in this first one, it's gonna ask you to get Arc Line Professor in training. So you can get that from a character or from SSR support card. So in this particular example, the character that can get this is Symboli Rudolph at Awakening Level 5. You can also get it from Kita-san Blast support card. But remember, you actually have to buy the skill, you can't just get the hint for it. So the next one you want to get is going to be Arc Maestro. And this one is going to be from the character Super Creek at Awakening Level 5. You can also get it from Wedding Maya no Top Gun at Awakening Level 5 as well. The easier option is going to be um, use or borrow Super Creek's SSR card and the skill will be available through training events. Remember that training events are not guaranteed, so you might have to do this several times. The third one is to get the skill called Like the Win, and they're available through your character's End of Sky version of Mejiro McQueen, so her level 5 awakening, or Narita Bryan at her level 3 awakening. Obviously, the easier option is to, of course, use or borrow Nishino Flower SSR support card and get it from one of her training events. The next skill to get will be called Heart and Soul. This one you can get through character Special Week or Narita Bryan at Awakening Level 5. The easier option again would be to just use an SSR card. In this case, it would be Special Week's Guts card or this Winning Tickets Power card that you can get from the main story. Now we're on the next set, the fifth skill to get is going to be Gust of Wind. You can only get this through a training event with Tokai Teo's SSR card, so you're going to have to borrow this one if you don't have it. The sixth one is going to be the Concentration skill, and this one you can get from Silent Suzuka at her level 3 Awakening. You can also use or borrow a Tazuna SSR card to get this as well. If you decide to use the Tazuna card, do make sure you go up with her the maximum amount of times when you use the support card. The seventh skill to get is called Breath of Fresh Air. This one you can find on Vodka or the regular Maya no Top Gun at level 3 Awakening. You can also get it through Vodka's SSR support card events. Okay, the last skill one is going to be Curve Sommelier, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but you get it. And this one you can get through Okuri Cup or Wedding Air Groove's Awakening Level 5. You can also get it through Gold Ship Stamina SSR card to get this through the training events. All right, the skill part is over, and luckily the next set of missions are generally easier. <laughs> In this part, you just have to accumulate a total of 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, and 300,000 evaluation points through training. 
Basically, just keep training girls for points and you'll eventually get there since you can do this over multiple training sessions. All right, the next set is going to be just acquire X or more skills in one training session. The first one asks you to acquire eight or more skills in one training session, then the next one asks for 10, and then 12 in one training session. I'm thinking you can probably just complete all of these at once if you grab a bunch of affordable skills. Don't forget you can get a ton of skill points by doing races or also choosing the third option on the New Year's or Shrine Visit events. All right, let's take a look at this next set. There's four of them here that are very, very similar. This is a two-parter. The first part is you have to train an Uma that is B rank or higher. And the second part is they have to be A or higher in a specified aptitude. There's one for each one. So short, miles, medium distance, and long distance. Just train Umas that are naturally good at these and you'll be good. So if you don't understand what I'm like trying to explain here because I'm not being very clear, obviously, uh, here's an example of what I mean. Here is an example of Narita Taishin being B rank and above, so that's the first part. And then having an A aptitude in both medium and long distance races, so that's the second part. So the mission is just asking you to train a bunch of Umas that are B rank and higher, and also have A aptitudes in short, miles, medium, and long distance. And you don't have to complete all four of these aptitudes at once. Here's the next set and also another easy one. This one just asks you to enter a number of races in a training session. The first one is 10 or more races. The second one is 13 or more races. And then the last one is 18 or more races. You don't actually have to win these. You just have to enter it. So it should be pretty easy. Now we're back to the hard part of the missions. This set is gonna ask you to acquire specific titles. And titles are the ribbons that you see in the profile here. So in this example, Narita Taishin has one in silver. The first one's gonna ask you to get a triple tiara in one training session. You have to win Okasho, Oaks, and the Shukasho races. Okasho is the cherry blossom looking one and that one's available in the second year in early April. Oaks is a very red and gold, it almost looks like Christmas kind of banner and this one's available in the second year in late May. And the third one is Shuka Show, and this one's available in second year in late October. The banner for this one looks like there's autumn and fall leaves, which is very pretty. The next one, this one is the Grand Prix 2 title and you need to win both Arima Kinen and Takarazuka Kinen. Arima Kinen is available in the second and third year in late December and Takarazuka Kinen is available in the second and third year in late June. The sticky part of this title is that you also need to use parents that also won both of these races. This is called Grand Prix 2 because the 2 represents the second generation of horses to win this. So make sure you do look for the parents that have also won both of these races. You actually don't need to have the factors of these races, you just need to make sure the parents have won them. The next title is relatively easy in comparison. This one is called G1 Hunter and you just need to win 7 G1 races in one training. All right, this next one is back to winning specific races. This one is Spring Senior Triple Crown Uma Musume title. And the three races you need to win is gonna be Osaka High, Tenosho Spring, and Takarazuka Kinen. Osaka High is available in the third year in late March. Tenosho Spring is available in the third year in late April. And then Takarazuka Kinen is available again in second and third year in late June. Next, we have the Autumn version of the last title. This one is Autumn Senior Triple Crown Ume Musume title. This one is going to be, again, with Tenosho, but this one is Autumn. The second one you need to win is going to be Japan Cup. Third one is Arima Kinen. Tenosho Autumn is available in second and third year in late October. Japan Cup is available in second and third year in late November and Arima Kinen's available in second and third year in late December. The next one is called Emperor's Award Spring and Autumn Consecutive Champion. <laughs> Honestly, the English name is really, really long, but in Japanese kanji, it's just like super short. Like each one of those words that we're saying is just like one character. So <laughs> in Japanese, it's super short in comparison, but in English, it's like Emperor's Award Spring and Autumn Consecutive Champion. Oh my gosh, it's so long. 
<laughs> but this one's super easy to understand. You just need to win both of the Emperor's Award, aka Tenosho. So you need Tenosho Autumn and Tenosho Spring. The Autumn one is available in second and third year late October, and the Spring one's available in the third year in late April. All right, so this one's actually an easier one in comparison. This one is Dirt Expert, and this one just requires you to win 10 dirt races. The next one is All Rounder. This one requires you to win three turf and three dirt G1 races. So someone that's well-rounded and can race on both types of turfs. The next one is Speed Queen. And this one is just ending a training with 1200 speed or above should be pretty easy. And the last title you're gonna need to get is gonna be called Effort Genius. Effort Genius just requires you to get power training to level five. So when you're training your Umas or going to a training session, you'll see the five types of stats that you can choose to train on. The one in the middle with the barbells is gonna be the one for power. And the more you train power, the more levels of uh, training will go up. So at first you'll start at level one and the background is green. And as you do more and more power training, it'll eventually go up to level five. So once you hit level five, you'll get the Effort Genius title. Okay, we finally got all the titles out of the way. It's smooth sailing from here. The next set here is to win a number of G1 races. The first one requires you to win 50 and then 100 and then 150. And the last one is 200 G1 races. And finally, the last set of missions is very simple. Just complete an X number of missions from this list. So when you finish 10 missions, you are going to get 150 jewels. When you finish 20 missions, you're gonna get another 150 jewels. When you finish 30 missions, you're gonna get your two star and up ticket. And then finally, when you complete all of the missions, you're gonna get your three star ticket. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope this was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, of course, just let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've had a good time here today or if you just learned something or found this kind of entertaining. That'd be super helpful to me. Thank you again so much for being here with me today and have fun racing. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.